volume seven. You can write this down. You can find it online. And it says attorney and clients. His first duty is to the courts and the public. Public is not people. Right. It's that public, public trust. It's like free public. It is to the society or the, the entity, okay. not to the Perfect. client. And wherever the duties to his client conflict with those he owes of an officer of the court and administration of justice, the former must yield to the latter. So his obligation is to the court, their system, and the other attorney before the client, always. Then you go to subsection 2-3. A client are also called wards of the court in relationship in regard to their relationship with their attorney what is a ward of the court infants and persons of unsound mind placed by the court under the care of a guardian which will be the judge Wow. And how did the game get started? They tricked mom under that to sign that certificate of live birth with absolutely no disclosure of what she was actually doing. So from inception, Correct. we were born into original sin. I just look at it like social insurance number. And mom was totally deceived. She didn't know she was an informant. I've asked so many women. This is the grounds for such huge tort claims if they don't let us go. It's like Pharaoh, right? And Moses, let my people go. Well, if they don't let the people go, they are going to have such a heap of hurt come down because everybody's going to start knowing this pretty soon. I mean, this yep. this movement is growing and growing and growing. And, you know, we can laugh at it and, like, laugh at ourselves for being so ignorant in the system and not knowing how to be kings and queens in the system. But there's a lot of brand new newbies when they crash everything that are going to be gnashing their teeth. And, you know, it's going to be scary out there unless they can figure out how to do this and repent and get righteous with a God and on the right side of the law really quickly, right? Right. Well, that's why, uh, like Guantanamo uh, and uh, all the FEMA camps are uh, opening up. Because a lot of these lawyers, a lot of these judges that don't have contracts with the uh, Secretary of State are invaders of, of America. And those who do not have a contract to operate in America are going, if they don't have a country to go back to, then they're going into the FEMA camps. Yeah. Well, I certainly hope that's true. Uh, but you have the International Association's Immunity Act which makes all uh, bar members immune from prosecution. Only in their system, though. You, no, go but common, you go to common law or international military courts or I, IACMJ right. courts. Um, yeah, that their standing right. does not exist inside the walls of those courts. There it is. There's your answer right there. That's your answer. They're going to be holding the military. Right. The military is going to be grounding all these guys up. They don't even know it's coming. But I'm well, sure I'm the smart me. ones are leaving the country. Yeah. The, act, uh, the well, actors are all leaving, leaving the country. At this moment. Well, it's already happening in Canada. And they, because they got a little too pushy. And so they're, they aren't letting anyone know. But what we're doing here. They've already done in Canada because they're taking people's all their assets. Take it. You can't operate business anymore. You com you complain against it, so we're going to take your bank account. They already did that, so the the reaction has already started. And what has happened? A plethora of wow. Canadian attorneys have all moved down to Costa Rica. Why Costa Rica does not have <laughs> extradition to Canada? Another thing, too, that people should know, other than the United States, Costa Rica is a hub, a huge hub for child trafficking. Huge. Wonderful. 
I am being sarcastic. And this isn't from other people's research. This is from my very own research. Well, we should be talking. Hawaii's got huge trafficking too. Yeah, well, yeah, because we're we're, we're the we're the Pacific hub. But if you're getting off in Oahu, getting in another plane, and then going from, say, Panama City, okay, you come here to Oahu, and then you jump over to Japan, or the Philippines, or Thai, Thailand, or what? It, they, they come here first, so they're out, they're out in the middle of the Pacific, and the laws here are protected by the Bar Association, and you can't practice law in this state unless you're a member of the Bar Association. So if you do something they don't like, ah, they yank your, you can't come before a judge, you know. Coincidence, Yeah, they'll, right? turn, they're, they'll turn on their own. Because remember, I told you guys, I, me and Nairi work for Robert Stone, who was hired by local people that are all trying to claim back their Hawaiian kingdom lands, right? And he was retired attorney from Chicago, and he told me he legally was stealing people's property through the foreclosure business, and he specialized in mall foreclosures, right? So this pasty old guy got a conscience at the end of his life and said he was doing like a lot of pro bono for people over here. But because he was using the tricks of the trade that he knows to actually help people, they threatened him with a $100,000 fine and in in imprisonment. And literally he packed up his crap and got back to Chicago as quick as possible. The Hawaiian Mafia scared the crap out of him. Because he took a bar, and once they take that bar, they consider, like, you, you try to help the people, and you now, you know, they frown on it. Right, that. right. The Satanists right. want it all. They want everything. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> they only get it. Owner, they don't. They only get ownership. They don't get a lodeo title to anything. God has the lodeo right. title to the universe. Amen. So they can yes. they can hold that little thing that goes. Oh, look how rich and powerful I am! And God's gonna go. <laughs> Come here, kid. Come on. I gotta show you something. <laughs> and if okay. if people remember, um, there's a. Uh, it wasn't Saturday Night Live in living color. <coughs> and Jim Carrey came with his guy. And he goes, let me show you something. And, I, and in my mind, I'm like going, that's us. Let us show you something. Let us show you the truth. Do you want to still be a slave? No. That's, that's why we're all here. <laughs> we're done with being slaves. We want to be born again to the kings and queens. Amen. Amen. I know if Andrea would right, say, I continue. am a queen. I know Miss Pink Barbie would say that. <laughs> She's already got her BJ, houses and her new cars picked out. BJ? I'm sorry? You got a little clarification on uh, Persona Sojiro? Yes. Yes. I'm okay. adding it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Can you see my screen okay? Do I need yes. to make it bigger? Um, we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At the top of your picture, if they hit the 100% and do plus, it'll make your screen bigger for them to read. At the top, it'll look like Right above the document, oh, see it says you. 100, it says minus or plus. If you yeah. hit like 150, it blows it up good. If you hit 175, it really blows it up good. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Okay, so let's continue with this document. Okay. All right, so line one, it says, this whole harmless and indemnity agreement is a mutually agreed upon and permanently entered into this. On mine is the fourth day of July, uh, day of the month of July in the year of Yahweh. 2024 between the juristic person Bailey uh, um, TM, which is uh, what the hell is TM again? Trademark. Uh, 
It's right, your trademark. trademark upper caps. First. So, you know, in other, uh, later on in the documents, the trademark appears at the end, you know, after your last name. You think that matters? I'm just pointing out that it's inconsistent in the, and it's, and, and, you, and it also says copy, you know, the copyright signal uh, symbol and the, the TM. I don't know what the proper, I didn't look so at what the proper way is, but I'm just saying it's not consistent. <laughs> that's all. Okay. So I, I should move that to the, to the other side of that. Uh, control C, and then I'll put it on the other side. I'm not even sure I'm correct. Now that I opened my big mouth. You guys, I, you guys, I heard from Ryan. He said he's not in cell range. He's heading back where he lives. He's hopefully going to be able to get on in a little bit. I want to hear if he's had any luck with that lady calling him back yet. Mm, the registrar. Yes. Uh, no, probably not since Friday. Oh. It's, uh, it would part. only be today, yeah. Uh, I have a question. For all these documents, these phase one documents, mm -hmm. I mean, Using my first, middle, and last name. My last name is my birth last name or my married last name. Mary told me to put everything. You're going to put the word nay in some okay. of the areas with your married name. But she said to go back and capture your birth, whatever was written on your birth certificate is what you're capturing number one. So whatever okay. Arlene was born with your legal name mom and dad gave you. And then you can put in some of the documents. You'll see where it has in parentheses nay, N-E-E. -E, and that's mm -hmm. where you're claiming your married name too. But it's your, your original name is what's originally attached to the birth certificate number, right? So that's what we're doing this for. Okay, so all my documents has my birth name. My last name. Yes, and except me. for the places that you put in any other married names you've ever used in your whole life. And or if you've been married before, if it's just the same gentleman you've always been with, and you just put in the married name as well in those sections. You'll see because it'll be all the derivatives of the name, right? But other than that, you're just going to stick with your birth certificate name through okay, these, great. yeah, consistently through these documents. Got it. Thank uh -huh. you. Just by way of reference and the indemnity bond, which is coming up in number four, it does have first, middle, last copyright trademark. Yeah, so I think that's where it's capturing all the other names that that social security number is associated with. Still capturing it as your property, the original, the original Arlene. <laughs> Well, here's a two dollar. Well, let's let, let's 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 wait for BJ to clarify the trademark. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I just mentioned it. In, in number four, um, there is in the indemnity bond. It is the uh, example of first, middle, last copyright trademark on the first sentence. And I checked a few others later on. It's in six and, you know, it's in others that way. Okay, you want me to continue? Yes, please. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, so upper Bailey, upper cap name trademark and all names listed 
on the SS5 form on file with the Social Security Administration associated with Social Security account number of Anthony Tor of uh, his name, comma, and uh, A Torres, comma, A period Torres, debtor, and Torres, comma, Anthony. And um, I noticed that. Um, uh, okay, I noticed, um, and it says and, and then it's lowercase, and then it says comma secured party creditor bailer who is a living flesh and blood man. Okay, and I believe there's a colon in between my first and last name on that. Is everybody on the same page with that, or how do the ladies do that? We lost yes. we lost your thing. share screen. Your your document went away. Can't see it. Oh, you lost my share screen. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let me. Uh, let me know. Trying to resume. Okay. Let me know when you get. Let me know when it shows up. Okay. Is it showing up? Not yet. It looks like it's loading. Yeah. Uh, okay. There we go. Got it. Everybody just blow it up so to 175. Right <laughs> For all of us people who need so right readers. Here. <laughs> Uh, thank you. So this right here, it has my, right? So, um, so here it says, and so how do you ladies do that? I mean, when it says for the Bailey, do you put, do you put, uh, uh, do you put a, a hyphen and then your middle name and then you do a, um, Semicolon. A colon. Yes. And then your last name. Well, just uh, FYI, the way I've done it. Okay. Through, so you I'm just going to tell you what I've done. I could pull it up and show you, but it's like for all of my first 19 documents, I decided because I do it all in lowercase. Well, the first initial uppercase, and then I do hyphen, and then my middle name in lowercase, and then semi. It's not semicolon, right? What is it called? A uh, just colon oh, colon colon oh. and then the last surname separated from because we are to be set apart from the world right that's like showing us we're set apart from that surname i asked her specifically several times actually because mm -hmm. you guys in that first time that we met uh, i asked the question about the use of the word family uh-huh. Oh, and, yeah. And right. I understood from our discussion not to put the word family in there and just put your last name. So I asked her because why bother to put the word family when you already know your last name? Okay. Um, right. The okay. idea was that she said that the family... Um, you were, that is not your name. That's your family name. You know, so he goes my last name right now. And, and that's the family name. It's not your name. Your name is Barbara Jean. hyphen Jean. Jean with a small J. Right. Correct. And, and then, so then, yeah, yeah. But then, okay. So, all right. I was clear with that. But why put family in there? And, and so this, just a few days just two days ago or something, I asked her, all right, do you, do you, do I put family anywhere then? Uh, and, and, and for example, any, any place in so. the word family, I see, okay. That's what you say, right? So well, I, and she said, wherever the word family is, you can put, use the word family and then you put your last name. Okay. That's what I took from my conversation with her. So she I told me the same thing, BJ, about that question. 
And I think Jeffrey has a really good understanding about coming from the house of. So maybe you could sum that up of, you know, certain documents you're not going to put maybe the house of. But the other documents you do, you're sharing, this is my family, my clan, my tribe, but it's not you, Barbara Jean. So, Jeff, can you do a short right. little definition of that so she might have a little more clarity? Um, okay. But, uh, put this rendition of this. We all have heard the name Rothschild, correct? Yes. Correct. Okay. So, uh, Rothschild was originally uh, Ilhan and Isaac Backrack because... Ilhan and Isaac was his given name, but he was from the town of Backrack, and he was a money changer who came and linked with Ignatius Loyola, who was given charge of the Vatican Bank. Well, uh, uh, Ilhan and Isaac Backrack, he was a money changer. He, he did work with the Kazarian mafias or the, or the traders of, of canvas and that sort of thing from the east to the west, which silk trade you i'm sure you've heard about that well those two individuals got together and when um Le loyola passed away he um Elhan and isaac backrack moved to uh um frankfurt germany and he built a building for his banking system because he had to have some place to actually do the paperwork for the vatican and all that because um, he was still in charge of the, the banking system at that because Loyola had passed away. His last name became Bauer, which in German means builder. Okay. And then later on, because of his of different things, his banking prominence came forward. So he became a banker and he put a placard in front of his house. <coughs> they call him shingles. And it was red with a white cross because he didn't want to be associated with the uh, uh, the Knights of uh, Templar, which was white with a red cross, because they had been uh, uh, ended in uh, 1312. When you take the term the shield with a cross on it, it's red with a cross, but it's a red shield. And in German, it's Rothschild. And in English, it's pronounced Rothschild. He is not a, a Bauer. He's not a, a this. He is not. That's where he's coming from. So say you came from, uh, um, you, your ancestry was uh, born in uh, a town in Japan someplace. Uh, or say Taiwan. Or Germany or whatever, that would be what we would construe as a last name, but it's not our last name, it's where we come from. But what the Vatican did is they go, hey, we'll copyright the all capital three letter name, the three word name. And when anyone uses it, they're agreeing to the contract of that uh, uh, copyright. And now you're under the, the island of the Hospitaliers. The Hospitaliers were set up by the Knights of Malta. And who was the Knights of Malta? Rothschild. Mm -hmm. It comes all together that way. So who you are is your given name. Mm. Where you come from is your last name or what they call a familiar name or your clan name or house of name. So I use Jeffrey Stephen of the House of Jared because that's where I come from. I'm not those things. That's just where I come from. Are you? Very good explanation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on on our document here. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, Arlene, so, are you um, good? Real quick. Does anybody have any questions before we move on? I do. I have one more question. Awesome. Go for it. Okay, so where it says all says all the names listed on the SS5 form on the file with the Social Security Administration, when we do our name change, it's not going to be an upper caps anymore. It's going to be changed to well, mine is going to be all changed to lowercase. Right. Um, is that going to is that going to change this document? Well, 
from a legal standpoint, the document is creating another contract. Okay. At one point, you're saying you're the all caps name, which you aren't. And now you're saying that, hey, I want this upper and lowercase name. They don't care. They can only exchange apples for apples. They can't give you a private living name because they're a corporation. A corporation has no parity with the living. You could do that, but you still have to take charge of that name as the executor. You as Anthony, your middle name of the house of so-and-so or the clan of or the family of appointed to the office of executor of the all caps name now with a different name. So wait, I have a, a question. I have a question. A corporation cannot make you a corporation is dead. It cannot make you alive. So I have a question. So I understand. I hate to throw a monkey wrench into Mary's stuff, but there's some flaws in it. <coughs> I have a and that's what I've been working with Rob. Uh, we're going to go back over as Mary. Well, I want to so ask I a question, I don't, want, Jeff. I don't want to confuse the issue, just so you know. Well, that is true. They don't see living people. So everything we have to do, that's why we have to use the trust and the estate, which is the all capital corporations, to work with them because they don't recognize us, the living man or woman. We just don't even exist to right. them. So for what you're right. saying, because I... That is found in U.S. versus Maker. Okay, so here's okay. here's my and question. The terminations of that. And Penhallow versus Don't Administrate. Maybe this isn't what, this is why I haven't gone down to Sylvia Luke's office to change my name yet. Because Ryan, when he walked me through the name change too, he had it like uppercase, lowercase. He told me to not pay for the, the name change online because then you're paying in fiat dollars. He told me to go get real coins, silver dollars from the bank and take the $50 fee down there. But my issue with even what Ryan told me, Jeffrey, is I don't think Sylvia Luke is going to post in the newspaper that my legal name is going back to my given name. I just can't see that she's going to do that. No, she she won't do that because she has sworn an oath to that corporation. Right. So do we have if to put it? If she did a, that, she'd be committing treason against Okay, her. so do we have to put our own private declaration of that in the newspaper or craigslist or something for a week or day or however long it has to be posted of the us changing our name back of proof that we did it and gave public notice and then go ahead and change Again, wait, let, let me let me wait wait let wait, me wait. let me you're, let me finish because i'm blending, gonna forget you're blending two laws here no what but then change our name through sylvia luke should we just change it to a completely different name than the legal fiction originally was from the birth certificate? Because this, I've been having this argument with Tony Gambini and some of the other people in our ministry over here that study with Maury. And it seems to be like you guys are saying right here, there's confusion over what Mary's taught us. What Ryan, I actually had Ryan, I gave him a love offering to help me walk through with the name change, but... I, I, like he said, go do their office down at the lieutenant governor's office and present her with these coins. And, you know, and I'm just going, I don't, I've been holding off doing it because I kept having questions about all of that. It all seems a little still convoluted to me. So if we can get to the well, end. Uh, let, let, me, let me explain. They are a commercial entity. Correct. Not alive. We know that. They can, and according to U.S. versus Meeker, Supreme Court decision of 1795, and as much as every government is an artificial person, an abstraction and a creation, a creation of the mind only, a government can only fit face with other artificial persons. The imaginary have neither actual nor the substance is foreclosed from creating and attaining parity with the tangible. The legal manifestation of this is that no government, as well as any law, agency, aspect, court, etc., can concern itself with anything other than corporate, artificial persons and contracts between them. So all you're doing is you're changing one name structure to another name structure. And in the temporary, it works because they will not refer to you in the upper and lower case stuff. But you get into federal court and they start doing that. 
you are still the living man and you still have not taken away your liability as a surety slash trustee for that artificial thing that they gave you to operate in their commerce. That's why you have to be appointed to the office of executor. Okay. And then you're controlling the thing and then you change the name. Great. That's their, you're talking that entire structure, the courts, the changing of the name, all of that is a commercial realm. And all you're doing is you're, you're shuffling papers. And I get that. But if you're coming as a living man or woman and in the documents that I sent to you, you're uh, in the train of tears, it explains. And in what I sent out earlier is that I have my correction of the record. I'm a living man on this. And here's all the here's all the the documents from the Bible and the Old Testament that says that I am not the thing. But here's another document. I'm the office of the executor. So now I control it. I'm not that thing. That thing, their entire commercial structure is outside of me as a private living soul. So Mary's work deals strictly in statutory. Everything strictly statutory. So you have to set up a control structure as this. Uh, and I just basically, it came together last Wednesday. You cannot be a holder of land if you're a synthetic thing. Show me how the state of Hawaii or the all caps known to Gara state can hold a pencil. It cannot. Yeah. Only a living being can hold a pencil. So you can hold it, but they can only have ownership. Completely different. Completely different. And so once you ingest that, that you're not all the things that they created, you create a big block of structure that they can't get through, and you point, and you point yourself as the executor uh, to the office of the executor of that estate. Now you control it all and you have no liability, zero. Yeah. Foreign <clears throat> Sovereign Immunity Act, 1968. Jeff, we're gonna, we're gonna have to study that be, and to get that in our heads because uh, again, we've been sureties for so long, it's hard to separate. And I, and I get that. And that, that's why I said it the way I said it. It's, you have to know this stuff before you claim it, but realize I'm, I'm letting you know that at some point you will see that everything they've created is fiction and everything they're getting you to. And the only thing they can process is fictitious paperwork. Right. That's not you. It's a representation of what you want. So it's going to take a while for people to digest this and fully comprehend what I'm saying. That's why we daily renew our minds, guys. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> is it is it so a hobby? I mean, a, a, a hava. Um, so we're looking at when we do the name change, are we going to get clarification whether we should just do it all in lowercase? Or does it matter? And oh, here's what, here's what I, case do. here's my plan because Ryan believes we have to get it back to the lower. I think that could be a private publication on Craigslist under the, um, you can do for $5. You can post in the legal section on Craigslist for a week, I believe, or it might even be for three weeks, but it's very inexpensive. So you can get proof it was publicly posted in a format that's a legal notice format, right? So I'm going to do that on there with my upper lowercase. I don't care. I don't need their permission to post that. I'm going to do it just so I have my own copyright. I'll get Cowie to notarize it for me, and then I have that. But I will go with Silver Sylvia Luke, which is our lieutenant uh, general. What's, what is the title, lieutenant general or... Governor. Governor. Yeah, she's a lieutenant governor here in the state of Hawaii, Tony. So what I'm going to do with her 
since I've never really ever legally changed my name to officially to Ahapa, but I've been using it for years and everybody calls me that for the most part. Some people call me Lee still, but most call me Ahava or Ahava Lee. I think I'll just change my new legal name to Ahava Lee. And that way, that's a new creation that I created and can control, right? And then I'm taking authority, but I'm also still acknowledging that the real original given name, Lee, because if I publish it in a publication, I have proof that, I, that I'm changing the living woman to that, and my corporate entity name will be Ahaba. Does that work? Would that work, Jeffrey? And then I have two names, but one's of a real woman, and one's of my new, whatever they want to call it, fake name. Right, but it, it, again, it's um, you're asking them to acknowledge something that operates in their realm. That would be the new, so, if I create uppercase, all so, so uppercase name. It doesn't, say I wanted to be called Jack Black or uh, 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 Rumpelstiltskin or whatever. <laughs> okay. So I just tell them, I want to be referred now as these things. And they go, sure. Stamp, now you're referred to the, as those things. Does that make me that thing? No. No, because you're That's still a why fiction. It says <clears throat> when, you're... God, when you're with God, God's going to give you a name that only he knows. Exactly. That's what I'm Everyone saying. Everyone else will eventually know it. But you, who you really are, your soul name, God gave you. Right. And no one knows it yet. That's who you really are. Your earth suit, okay, it's been given a name by your parents. Mm -hmm. No matter what you change it to, that's what they gave the name of your earth suit. Right. When your earth suit dies, do you die? No. No. The name doesn't die either. It's associated as a decedent. Right. But who you are is still alive. Right. It's, so I, it's you all just making... exchange. All you're doing is it's changing trading cards as your name <laughs> in their system of commerce because they cannot see anything else except their system of commerce. They cannot see the private. Right. If you get into probate, you can get justice in private. Why? Because only the private have access to true equity. Mm -hmm. No one else has that. A synthetic doesn't get equity. What's... In other words, can Batman sue Tom Sawyer? No. So they play this game and they go, okay, Tom Sawyer, you owe him a trip down the river on that little raft that you made. And the author of Tom Sawyer or his relative go, I can do that. I'm going to write another book. It's a fiction against a fiction they're playing in fictions okay well, so all they, these fictions are out there and they're making you believe they're real and they can only operate in fictions because they're an abstract of fiction themselves right well the whole system is fiction so i i meant we're all, we're all getting that part right but what i guess i'm trying to say is it's like Mary says, we're, we're, we're wearing all these hats. We just have to learn what hat we're, we're wearing at the time, correct? And Precisely. And how to, she has us write different signatures for different hats we're wearing and d use different tools. We might be using the estate or we might be using the trust or we might be using this new name we created that's not us yet, but going to be our future way to be in the world, but not us. But we just, I think the key to most of this is coming together like we're doing and just iron sharpening iron. This is how we learn and this is how we correct our paperwork and how we learn to stand if we get dealing with police or judges or any of the above. It's how we learn. Right, right. So guys, I'm going to have to get off here at 2.30. Um and I've been having several people text me throughout the call that are wanting to learn all this. And I'm like, I'm not going to take anybody else on until we get through this. So I really want us to keep pushing along. Um, if you guys even want to meet more than three times a week, if I don't know if everybody can do that. I don't even I, mind. I think that would be very, yeah. 
I don't I mind meeting every day, even if we just keep it to an hour, but we keep knocking it out a little yeah. bit every day, like Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then off for the weekend. But we could maybe move a little right. bit quicker. I'm not sure. Um,